In the 1960s and 70s, cereal box toys were the ultimate prize for children across the United States. But little did the makers of Captain Crunch know that their small, colorful bosun whistles would become the key to a new era of hacking. During this time, a group of individuals known as phone freaks were fascinated with the inner workings of the nationwide telephone system. They were determined to figure out how to manipulate the system to their advantage. And the answer came in the form of the bosun whistle. These whistles emitted a tone at 2600 Hz, which turned out to be the exact frequency needed to trick the telephone routing equipment into allowing free long-distance phone calls. And the best part was that Captain Crunch was giving them out for free with the purchase of their cereal. One of the most well-known phone freaks was John Draper, a former U.S. Air Force electronics technician who used the bosun whistle to infiltrate the telephone network system. Draper even gave himself the nickname, Captain Crunch, in honor of the serial that provided the key to his hacking exploits. Using the mechanics of the telephone network system and the effectiveness of the bosun whistle, Draper created, blue boxes, small electronic devices that could produce multiple tones to infiltrate the telephone network system in a variety of ways, beyond just free long-distance calling. Draper's exploits caught the attention of Apple creators Steve Jobs and Steve Wozniak, who were inspired by his story after reading about it in Esquire magazine. They even tracked him down to learn more about the technology, and their first joint business venture was actually selling blue boxes. The blue boxes were used for mischief, with Jobs, Wozniak, and Draper pulling phone pranks and making unauthorized calls. The trio even attempted to prank call the Pope and President Nixon, showcasing the extent of their hacking and phone freaking activities. The story of the bosun whistles and the birth of phone freaking ultimately had a lasting impact. Draper's hacking exploits landed him in jail for toll fraud, but he was also hailed as a hacking and software pioneer, having written early software used by IBM. And the influence of the bosun whistle and the blue box extended beyond just the realm of hacking. Jobs once said, I don't think there would ever have been an Apple computer had there not been blue boxing, highlighting the unexpected impact of a simple cereal box toy on the world of technology and innovation. The era of the bosun whistles and phone freaking may have come to an end, but the legacy of these early hackers and their exploits lives on, paving the way for the digital revolution that would follow in the years to come.